Welcome back to the Australian Fighting Championships. It is the main event of the evening. Our first ever main event in China. It is the light heavyweight division. Josh Warner, two real legends of mixed martial arts. A soccer Jew, a man who's done it all. And make no mistake, he's going up against one of the best BJJs in Marcelo Tenorio. We're going to go to John Dimicoli in the center of the cage to bring us into our main event of the AFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Fighting out of the red corner, Marcelo, the Latino, Tenorio. Here he comes. Eminem, get you pumped up for this fight. Marcelo Tenorio, 24 years in the business. He's a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Carlson Gracie. Red belt in karate. Also has a kickboxing black belt. So again, Jits might be where he lives historically, but don't underestimate his ability to stand and knock people out with hands and feet. It's going to be a great fight. Our Bangkok Fight Lab uh, does some work with Tommy Hayden, who's a former UFC fighter. Boxing coach Nico Nikolai works with a great team, and he's confident he can win this. He thinks his ticket to Australia to fight Jamie Abdallah is well and truly on the cards. And there is Nico Nikolai in the white t-shirt in his corner as our referee does uh, he checked out on him and a very excited uh, Tenorio as well. He wants to come to Australia, doesn't he, He does, Josh? yeah. He wants a dollar. He's a very respectful guy. So, you know, you see some of the, you know, uh, muscle-bound, you know, trash-talking guys in martial arts. And we love them too. Marcelo's a genuine gentleman. He's going to go in there. He's going to respect his opponent. And he believes, given his background of two-time world jiu-jitsu champion, don't underestimate that, he'll get, he'll get the job done in tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, the African assassin, Soka Here he comes, Soka 11 years training in his business, 32 and 15 with 11 KOs. Purple belt in Jiu Jitsu, second damn black belt in Judo. Stop, Ricardo Honora. Antonio Rogerio Noguera, Bob Sapp, Matt Hamill, the list goes on and on. He hits you and you go to sleep, Matt. Yeah, power, strength, aggression, they're the words that come to mind. Uh, and it's great to have and a privilege to have such a legend in the AFC. Yeah, we must note that he did miss weight by about 900 grams last night. Chose not to make the limit with the uh, additional time provided. So he's given up a little bit of his purse for this one. But again, I mean, always has to be mentioned, Sokaju did not officially make weight yesterday. Yeah, just under the kilo. Um, you know, he'd be disappointed that he's a professional. He's fought at the highest level. He's fought at pride. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be unbelievable to see how he goes against the ground game of Tenorio. Here's this for a list. Pride, UFC, WEC, Affliction, Strike Force, K1 Dream, and throw Bellator in there for dessert as well. So he's <laughs> fought everywhere. He's done and it now, all makes his debut on one of the broadening promotions in the world of martial arts, the Australian Fighting Championship, with, as you said earlier, Matt, a ticket to Australia and an AFC light heavyweight title shot against King Jamie Abdallah for the winner. He's very, very confident. Make no mistake, cool, calm and collected. Ladies and gentlemen, your judges at cage, Akai, Tony and Mo, your doctor is Dr. Louis, your timekeeper is Kiang, your referee in charge when that bell tolls is Mr. Greg Clenyans. Ladies and gentlemen, both warriors have now entered the ring, and this is the main event of the evening. She and China, are you ready? She and China. Are you ready? China, let's bring the noise. It's main event time. Three by five minute rounds in the AFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, standing six feet, four inches tall. Official weight of 93.45 kilograms. 
12 wins for 5 losses, fighting out of Bangkok Fight Lab and representing Brazil, he is the former Rajamadan and Lumpini Stadium Muay Thai champion, ladies and gentlemen, Marcelo the Latino Tenorio! And across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker and a judo technician, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall. Official weight, 94.75 kilograms. A record of 32 wins, 15 losses. 11 fights coming by devastating knockout. Fighting out of Team Quest and fighting out of the United States of America. He is a pride, strike force, K1 Bellator and UFC fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, the African assassin. Sokaju! This one's gonna be a beauty. Welcome everybody again as Greg Lahans gives his uh, Greg Lahans gives his final words. Okay, gentlemen, we've been through the rules. You need to protect yourselves at all times and obey my instructions at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch gloves now, back to your corner. The African assassin, he looks like an absolute powerhouse, Josh. Scary then. I can't believe he's in an AFC cage. I mean, we've been with his promotion for a long time, Matt, called a thousand fights, met some fantastic people. Sokaju is standing in the middle of an AFC cage right now. That is just fascinating. We've had Sol the Hulk Palili, we've had Daniel Kelly, some guys currently uh, in the UFC, Remember. but Sokaju is there. Fighters touch gloves. Here we go. Or leg kick by Marcelo early on. Marcelo's going to be careful. How long before he shoots? Let's see. How long before he shoots? He's got to oh, sit man oh, punch right. by Marcelo. Leg kick again. All the action coming from Marcelo right now. This is a different tactic. I didn't expect to see this. Great start. Marcelo confident with his stand-up. He's been doing a tie fighting now again, for a while. Again. Ben punches. Kick. Pulls oh. guard. Marcelo pulls guard. Okay, here we go. Now, this is where I think Marcelo... Oh, good cage walk. Straight away pushes him against the cage. There's... So could you now not as much distance or the ability for Marcelo to get away from the big so could you elbows here? Got to be careful. Right, holding holding posture. He's, he's got to hold the posture down. No, don't let him put his posture. Oh, big punches by so could you. So could you now. He's got to get that control, get that head control, bring him back down to his level. You don't want to let so could you posture. Big left hand. Oh, right hand. That way right hand got through, Josh. Got to bring him down. Can't let him get that high. Sokaju is too strong and too powerful. Big right hand again by Sokaju. Oh, Left, right. Here we go. Elbows. Elbow. Elbows. Oh, he's cut. Oh, no. He's busted up big time. It's he's over. Big trouble. Sokaju stopped Tenorio. 30 odd seconds into round one, and he is cut up it's big all time. It's over. Wow. Sokaju got on top and just. Cut that, cut him up really That's a badly. huge cut. Oh, wow. That wow. elbow, we, we, elbow got through. It was right in front of us, Josh. It was. Sokaju was able to posture. That was the problem, Matt. Sokaju postured, and after he postured, he had so much distance to rain those big elbows down. One's clearly got through, and that's brought an end to this before fight. Before I come in, why did he pull guard for the fans, Josh Warner? Well, his jiu-jitsu is, is fantastic, but he was actually doing really well with the striking. Like, he was landing punches. He land kicks. I've no idea why he would pull guard in that position. Having said that, uh, well, the end is just history. So could you move him straight to the cage? Fantastic technique. Get him to the cage. Doesn't allow him to move his head and body. What it gives him is a sitting target. So could you postured, gave a couple of little light punches to get through, and then hit that big, big elbow, and that is lights out for Marcelo Tenorio. And without um, moving forward too quickly, uh, so could you as a date with King Jamie Abdallah. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 26 seconds into the very first round. This fight ended, declaring him in a via ground and pound. Blue corner, the African assassin, Sakaju! have it, the first main event, AFC in Jian, China. So could you, devastating stoppage of Marcelo Tenorio early in round one. The elbow got through, the punches finished it off, and we now have a date for So could you and Jamie Abdallah for the AFC light heavyweight so title later this year. So could you, big congratulations. You have fought. This man has fought this man has fought at the best level across the world. The UFC, Pride, 
We're very privileged to have him here in China tonight. 哇，那这位选手呢，也是在美国最有实力的选手。哇，今天这场比赛真的是赢得非常的不容易。那我想，在全届的赛场上，我们可以流血，可以流汗，但永远不会流下的是热泪。那我看到这位虽然失败的朋友在我们旁边，那也让我们把掌声和鼓励送给他们，好吗？啊。The de he just de demolished. He absolutely demolished a very good fighter. Now he earns a right to fight Jamie Abdallah for the AFC lightweight. Hey, where's Jamie? Where's Jamie? Where did he go? Is he hiding? Where? 那么现在呢，我们这位获胜的选手也是。Hey, I told you, I was gonna destroy him, and then I'm gonna. Let me think. Just make sure you get a mouthpiece. Nah, a brain. No, those are mine. Hang on to the to the belt. Hang on to the mic, and then uh, I'm nice. Just grab it. We'll see you next time. Thank you. What do you got to say about that, Jamie? Look, you said you were gonna send him back to Brazil. Then you said you were kind of gonna destroy me. Man, I can't wait to put a show in front of these guys. I know it's gonna be a blockbuster fight. You know, you get talked about, big nog. Uh, you get Tex, you fought Machida. Your next big name's Jamie Abdullah, so congratulations. These two are gonna fight for the AFC lightweight title. Big, big round of applause. Have we got a translator? No, Sokaju. Big round of applause, our winner tonight, Sokaju.